Da sind wir wieder. Let's go! <lacht> One man army! Die deutsche Wehrmacht! Nice! Alles in Ordnung. Ordnung. A lot of times people are asking, why do you have these wires on your helmet? Well, this is exactly why. Look, this is what the Germans did. Well, actually everyone did. That's why the Americans were wearing the nets and the helmets. So were the Germans. And if they didn't have any nets, they made them themselves by using some wires and some branches. And you have a cover, a camouflage cover, right? Yeah. So this is my helmet now. And this is your helmet. Look at that. That is awesome. <laughs> He's full camouflage. That is really cool. Right here, we had to get in position to reenact a battle scene. We had to wait here for a very long time. Then, for some reason, all the vehicles drove by. And then, when we finally started filming, one of the vehicles didn't start. When that problem was solved, the battle finally started. Keep in mind that we aren't doing this for spectators just for the cameras. We are simply doing here what they told us to do. Right here, we had to surrender to the U.S. soldiers. This German soldier decided not to surrender, and he thought it was more smart to actually start a fight. Hands up! From a realistic point of view, this doesn't really look accurate. Also, you can see a pretty bad crossfire problem over there. It seems more like none of the soldiers know what to do in this situation. After taking down the angry German, they rendered eight, and we were taken as prisoners. Bert was killed, and here you can see them moving his body onto a stretcher. So I had to grab my camera really quick because um, they were filming a shot that we were surrendering. So we had to walk off. And now they're still filming one shot. Um, I don't know what's going to happen after this. All I still know is that my shovel is still over there, which I used to um, hide my camera. Right here, we had to abort a truck. Okay. And there we go.
iemand achter ons reed, hè? <laughs> over een man. Ja, ik heb niet hoor, ik heb niet maken. Hè. If this was a real situation, escaping wasn't going to be hard. <laughs> okay, so I'm falling apart. We have to go back to the car and I... What... From my understanding, we're going to eat something right now. Yeah. All right, nice. I don't know what I'm going to do. Hello, camarade. Yeah, so we are prisoners now, so I would be crazy if I would walk around with the equipment still, so I'm going to take it off. If I can. Can uh, I help? What? Should I help you? Nein. Thank you, but I got it. Stalin! Stalin! This is my helmet after combat use. Look at all the sweat inside there. <laughs> Every now and then I saw it falling down my helmet. Look at that. Historically correct. Okay, we are having a, a pause right now. I have some bread. I have no idea what's in, in here, but we'll see. Um, I'm not sure what, what the plan is. Uh, I think we're going to film one more thing after this. But as you can see, I am a prisoner. I have no equipment, nothing. I'm just walking here. That's it so far. I'm going to check what's in the mystery aluminum foil see if i can eat it or not and uh, <laughs> i will keep you updated i will be back as soon as i know what's going on are you um, taking your break and we're gonna film more after this i have no idea what's going on and they're gonna do some more yeah and so we're what exactly but i have no I think something in the camp oh okay but i'm not sure so we already did the liberation of the camp last week. Yeah, all right, okay. So, but maybe we have to do some guarding or I don't know. I hope I don't have to put on the equipment again. <laughs> I just put everything off. Yeah, me too, yeah. Well, we're not going to do it here anyway. So no. We're going to drive. Well, let me check if I can eat this thing, <laughs> whatever is inside. Hmm. <laughs> Are we allowed to eat here? I surrender. <laughs> Okay, here comes the part that I was like, ugh, um, and it shocked me and my friends. Let me explain you this. If you've been watching me for a while, you know exactly what kind of person I am. I know how the war unfolded, I know how there were innocent soldiers, I know how there were evil soldiers, and I know how there was like pure evil. Of course, war is bad. That's, that's not a new thing. That's obvious. And during the war, a lot of things happened. What I'm normally focused on are just the battlefields, just regular soldiers fighting against each other. Of course, a lot of things would fit in the category evil, uh, things like uh, war crimes, um, executions, stuff like that. But right now, I'm mainly talking about the concentration camps. We all know what happened, we all know what they did, and we all know that this was extremely, extremely evil. Obviously, I don't have to explain that, but I just want you to know that I know exactly what happened. I know what the Nazis did. I know about the mass murders. Every, everyone should know this. It's undeniable. It's, it's horrible. There are no words to describe this. I've been to concentration camps myself. It's disgusting that there were people like that. You cannot even really call them people who would torture people, just let them die. How can you be so evil. I'm going to use the word evil again. It's, it's, I mean, it's just, I'm not going to go into that right now. I'm not getting into all the, the things that they did because we know what they did and we know it's absolutely disgusting. But like I said, I've been to concentration camps myself. It's disgusting. But let me get back to the point. Um, I'm a reenactor. I normally only reenact a simple German Wehrmacht soldier. And that doesn't mean an evil person. That means a soldier who was forced into war because a lot of these soldiers were just forced into war. They had no idea what was going on. They were forced to fight for their country. They were brainwashed, they didn't know anything. In a lot of situations, if they didn't go, they would, for instance, kill their wife or their children or whatever. You had to go. If you didn't go, you would go to prison or something really, really bad would happen. So imagine, that's what I normally reenact. Just a simple German soldier. And as a simple German soldier, you're part of the Wehrmacht. You're not part of the police, you're not part of the SS, you're not part of the Sicherheitsdienst or whatever, just a soldier, just a simple soldier. I have to be honest, um, this whole event, uh, 
film set, whatever, was badly organized. Again, we didn't know anything. Me and my friends thought it was going to be the same as in 2019. We we're going to have a battle and stuff like that. And this time they were going to film because of the liberation of us. We didn't know that we were going to film scenes in a concentration camp. We only heard this when we were actually there. So we didn't know anything about this. So like I said already, uh, we thought that we were going to have a battle and then be prisoners and that that's it. We thought that was going to be it. But suddenly we were handed a paper with uh, really bad words on it, which I didn't use. And we had to guard prisoners in a concentration camp. Also something important to know is we were actors in this situation, okay? Imagine if you're watching the movie uh, Schindler's List, for instance, and there are a lot of actors in that movie who play very evil Nazis, right? That's what they play, but they aren't in real life. If you have common sense, you understand this. I just want to make clear that I have absolutely nothing to do with what we film uh, in these scenes. I, I don't stand behind it. It's just a scene that we film for a movie and this movie, the whole goal of this movie is to show the people, the local people in this area, um, how horrible it was. So basically we're doing it for a good cause. We're showing that it was horrible, only then you can explain how hor horrible it was by, by reenacting it. So that's why we did it. But it would have been nice if they actually informed us uh, that we were going to be... Uh, German guards in a concentration camp because we did not know this at all. We just thought it was going to be a battle and that's it. We were going to be uh, guards in a concentration camp. So um, I also have to be honest and have to point out that I saw a lot of inaccuracies in the clothing um, and, a, and a lot more things that just were not correct that I would definitely do differently if I would have been filming. But again, we were invited to be actors in this movie. So we have no association with this reenactment group, we have no association with whatever, the film crew, whatever. It was just me and my two friends, and that's all. We were just volunteers in this movie, because they contacted us to be part of this movie, and we thought it was going to be something else, but apparently it's, it was going to be, uh, the last scene was going to be uh, in a concentration camp, which we did not know. So I just want to be really, really clear. I don't stand behind anything horrible that happened during the war. We all know what happened. I have family who fought against the Germans during the war. I had family who actually helped hiding Jewish people during the war. So I know, ex I just wanted to make a point that I know exactly how horrible it was, but we were just actors in these scenes and we have absolutely nothing to do with the past, with the stuff that actually happened. All we were doing here was filming scenes for in a movie. So it has nothing to do with what we want to reenact or whatever because this is not something that I like to reenact at all. I know this is a very sensitive uh, subject and that's why I want to warn you if you do not want to watch this I advise you to click it away and just skip further to the end or just stop watching. Uh, but what you can expect here is us guarding um, people dressed in uh, period um, prisoner uh, clothing. So I just want you to warn uh, that this is what you will see. I just really think that this is extremely important to explain this to the people uh, who don't know why we are filming this because some people don't understand. But again, for instance, imagine if you're watching a movie where there is an evil person. It doesn't mean that this person in real life is actually an evil person. It's just an actor. So if you want to make a movie where bad stuff happens or where there are evil people, there's someone who has to play this bad person. So that was us in this case. Um, also, like I said before, there were a lot of inaccuracies and I'm talking about in the clothing, but also this uh, guarding prisoners in a concentration camp is not something that a, a standard uh, Wehrmacht soldier would do. We, we were actually not really wearing the correct clothes for this. This is more something for the SS or the, or the, the police, but not for the standard German soldier. Like I said, inaccuracies, are we just filming? That's all we were doing. So actually the movie was out in September. It was played in a cinema. I couldn't go there because I didn't have the time, but I will get this uh, movie on DVD. But it's more like a, uh, a local uh, film for, for, for the locals. So uh, that's why it was made to show uh, how horrible it was and to reenact what happened uh, during the liberation of this particular concentration camp. But we did this to make a product, to show the people at the end of the day uh, what it was like. And that's exactly why we did it, nothing else. So I gave you the opportunity to click the video away. If not, um, 
enjoy watching because all I do here is just show you how it works on a movie set. So we just filmed a couple scenes uh, of prisoners, Jewish people that we had to um, bring to this camp over here. Um, so what we had to do was like guard them. Um, we got a paper with some bad words in German that we had to say. Uh, they are over there right now. They are changing into their prisoners clothes. I didn't know we were going to do this at all, but apparently we are at a uh, camp and we are guards. We need to let them work. That's what we have to do at this moment We just filmed that scene and after this we are going to a location where they have to work and after that we will um, bring, bring them back to this location. That's what I know so far. So Right here we had to make them stand in a row and count all of them After the scenes here were done, we had to walk them to a location where they had to work. Again, keep in mind, we aren't doing this for fun. We are doing this to create an educational film to show the people how horrible the war actually was. Right here, they are filming the scene where they had to work. We had to guard them and act like total jerks. So here, it was time for a soup break. We had to keep a sharp eye on them. The ones who would cut in front of others would be picked out and punished. We even had to slam the soup out of their hands. As a punishment, they didn't get anything. Right here we had to act like we arrived back at the camp, and they were given bread. It was absolutely forbidden to start eating without permission. The ones who did, or who shared their bread with others, were punished. This right here was really cruel. This girl had to eat from the ground and had to bark like a dog. Again, we aren't the ones who decided to do this, but these were instructions. Okay, so we just finished the last scene right here in this field. They had to stand in line and we were giving them bread and some stuff happened. Totally something that I did not expect in the first place today at all. I didn't know anything about today. The only thing I 
knew was that it was about the liberation of Ash, is what I thought, but it's actually about a liberation of a concentration camp. Didn't know that, so it was kind of a shock to me. I, I, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say at this moment. Yeah, uh, I will see you when I find my words back. Okay, so we are driving home right now. They want us to stay to eat, but uh, still have some stuff to do at home. I'm gonna put all my stuff back in the bag. Heading home. Ugh. Okay, so I just arrived home. A part of my brain still has to realize what happened. Because the part with the uh, prisoners, of course I never expected. But yeah, I really wonder what the, the end result is gonna look like. So apparently it's gonna be a video about the liberation of a concentration camp. And from my understanding, uh, they were already filming previous week also. And yesterday they were filming things. I heard the movie's gonna be like one hour long. Uh, that's all I know right now. The only thing I know is that they needed soldiers for the liberation of us. I thought it was going to be the same thing again as, 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 as in 2019, but apparently it's something completely different. It's about the liberation of a concentration camp, which I did not know. I have to admit it was kind of shocking for me to suddenly be in the role of a prison guard and uh, do all these things. I did not expect that. I expected a liberation of a, of a town. That's, this is something totally different, of course. I hope it's gonna be a good movie. I'm gonna undress now because these shoes, they're hurting a little bit right now. So yeah, time to uh, get into my civilian clothes again. Okay, so I just took off uh, my boots and look at this. So that's why it was hurting. My skin is completely gone right there. <laughs> that hurts. Okay, well, nice. Historically correct. Oh, okay. That's not good. Yes, that was pretty painful. Um, can you imagine it was filmed on May 21st and today it's October 29th and uh, this is what the wound looks like right now. As you can see, it left a pretty bad scar which will stay there for the rest of my life. So that scar will always remind me of that and that will always remind me of um, these horrible things that the, the Germans did back in World War II. So for me, it's actually kind of a tattoo um, that pays respect for those who died uh, during that time. So it's actually kind of nice that it left a scar. Okay, um, yeah, like I already said before, this, this video was totally different um, as I expected. What I was thinking at first uh, when they were talking about prisoners, I actually thought, we were going to be the prisoners in a POW camp because we were taken prisoners as German soldiers. So that's what I thought what was going to happen, but it was totally different. Um, like I said before, movies like this are filmed, um, you know, to educate people, to actually show them how horrible it was because um, this this whole movie, uh, this whole movie thing is 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 made to actually show people how horrible it was. So that's a good thing. Uh, like I said before, the only thing I was hoping for was that they would have told us we were going to be prison guards uh, in the first place because we didn't know this at all. Uh, like I already said before, normally I always reenact a simple German soldier or an allied soldier, uh, never a prison guard. Is it bad to play a bad guy in a movie? No, absolutely not. Uh, because a movie has nothing to do with y yourself as a person. So you're, you're, you're playing as a character. You're not actually that person. Also, something important to mention is that all these people who were dressed in uh, prisoner's clothing uh, were also volunteers, obviously. They all knew what was going to happen. They actually knew more than us. Uh, so all these people uh, obviously volunteered. Uh, but yeah, it started like we arrived at that camp and then um, people in civilian clothing came there and we had to, uh, they had to say, say their name and we had to write their names down and uh, they were given numbers and they had to um, take, take off their civilian clothing and they had to dress up as as prisoners and I couldn't film that obviously because I didn't know this and everything was you know a little bit chaotic we had to film straight away and that's just the way it went and um, the movie is called Van Weerstand tot Concentratiekamp which means from resistance to concentration camp so what kind of movie is this well it's actually a uh, a local thing. It's 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 been played in a uh, in a cinema in the area over there. It's it's like a local thing around Osh and and that area. I believe they're actually selling DVDs with this movie. 
I don't know where, to be honest. It's uh, I haven't seen the movie myself at all. They invited us to go there and watch the movie in the cinema, but I couldn't go that day, so I haven't seen the movie at all. But like I said before, it's it's a local thing, so it's not it's it's not a big thing. It's just it's just a a, a local movie to educate the people in the area about the liberation of uh, this particular concentration camp. Like I said before as well, um, we are not associated with this um, reenactment group or anything. We were just volunteers in this movie and that's it. So that's where our story ends. That's that's all. Um, like I said before as well, uh, I saw some inaccuracies. Um, I saw license plates on, 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 on some of the vehicles, uh, which would be not correct because they're modern license plates. Um, I saw um, people with modern glasses, pieces of clothing that were not correct, and pieces of equipment and so on and so on so but like I said that's just what I want to say we three as reenactors are not associated with the rest of, of, of these these groups or whatever so if you have complaints d don't come to me with complaints I, uh, I have nothing to do with it we were just three individuals asked to play in a movie and that's what we did so like I already said this was something totally different. I still hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I think filming a movie set and just the way how that goes and stuff is pretty interesting uh, to show you. So uh, I really hope you enjoyed seeing that. But let us never ever forget these horrible war crimes that the Germans did back in World War II. These millions of peoples, these families completely destroyed by the Nazi regime. It's beyond your imagination. It's, it's, it's something that you cannot even describe. It's, it's, it's horrible. So yeah, let us just never ever forget about that and always pay your respects. And everyone, especially the young people, are all responsible to keep this all alive. Let us never ever forget. And that is where I'm going to end this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like the video, please leave a like and a comment. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.